Why has the American Lung Association of California decided to launch the Healthy Air Walk? Spread out the surface area of the average person's alveoli and they will cover half a tennis court. Just a few cells thick, this delicate interface sweeps about 25,000 times per day through the air around you. One sweep for each breath you take. In one day, your lungs will have filtered about 4,250 gallons of air. Californians breathe the most unhealthy air in the country, according to the American Lung Association's annual State of the Air report. Levels of smog and soot are unhealthy at times in 90% of our counties. The source of this pollution? Look around and you'll see. Ongoing research has shown stronger links between polluted air and premature death, not to mention work and school days lost to asthma attacks, sinus problems, and other breathing difficulty. 2.8 million lost work days each year in California are due to air pollution's health impacts. Global warming is having an impact now. The same factors that contribute to climate change have created a critical public health problem. Increased particulate matter and ozone, soot and smog, in our air creates health problems for children and adults with compromised respiratory systems and puts even healthy lungs at risk. The increase in lung disease associated with environmental issues is well documented and it's alarming. Here's the way that global warming is leading to lung disease. As greenhouse gas emissions increase, more of the sun's heat is trapped, causing worldwide temperatures to rise. The list of phenomena in the middle column are caused by rising air temperatures. More dust is airborne in the dry climate. More destructive wildfires like the ones in our county in 2003 and 2007. Greater demand for electrical power to cool our indoor surroundings produced by plants that pollute. Transportation emissions, stagnant air, and the abundant sunshine cause chemical reactions in the air that lead to increased levels of smog and soot. Now you can see why the American Lung Association has a stake in the prevention of global warming. Of course, air pollution affects people differently, and children are especially vulnerable to damage from exposure to unhealthy air. Can you guess which one of these plants was exposed to high levels of ozone? The plant on the left will likely never develop fully or properly like its healthy counterpart on the right. Similarly, air pollution harms children's lungs for life. Consistent exposure to high levels of pollution causes delayed lung development and reduced lung function in children. This is a pyramid that we would like to shrink and disappear. At the bottom of the pyramid are many people who suffer from reduced lung function, weaker immune systems, and strain on the heart. Many others in the blue band suffer from more frequent episodes of asthma and other symptoms leading to the expense of additional medication. Going up the pyramid, doctor and hospital visits generate billions in added health care costs, while the number of premature deaths caused each year by air pollution stands at 24,000. And that's where all of us have a role to play. The American Lung Association has been protecting your lungs for over a hundred years. In the last half century alone, we have caused dramatic changes in this country when it comes to improving life one breath at a time. In the 1960s, being concerned about the lung cancer epidemic, the American Lung Association petitioned the Surgeon General to document the role of cigarettes in causing lung cancer, and the resulting 1964 report was the turning point in getting America to quit. Now, after decades of research and billions spent by big tobacco in slowing down or stopping regulations, the American Lung Association has a successful track record in helping smokers to quit expanding smoke-free protections and keeping merchants from selling tobacco to kids. In 1970, the American Lung Association advocated for the first Clean Air Act to deal with dirty, unhealthy air. Since then, the association has been vigilant to enforce and strengthen federal and state laws to fight pollution and protect our right to breathe clean air. In the 1980s, the issue of indoor air pollution arose because of new recognition of how indoor air contributes to lung disease, eliminating asbestos, creating smoke-free workplaces, and explaining the ramifications of mold were new tasks for the American Lung Association. 
In the 1990s, the Lung Association worked to reduce harmful diesel emissions, recognizing that bad air quality is often a hidden cost for families living in poorer neighborhoods. Replacing diesel school buses and ending their practice of idling in front of schools every day helped to remove harmful conditions for thousands of California's kids. Entering our second hundred years as a progressive, community-focused public health organization, the American Lung Association is committed to helping our whole economy and society become cleaner burning in the 21st century, in much the same way as cars have become cleaner burning over the last 30 years. One-on-one -on -one family education is improving breathing for families who live in high-impact areas. Neighborhoods like Mid-City San Diego and National City are more often exposed to industrial pollution, port traffic, and freeways, and as a result suffer disproportionately from lung disease. At the same time, the Lung Association is advocating for strong public health policies to reduce the sources of lung disease-causing pollutants. And continually, the American Lung Association grants research funds to local students and scientists who are investigating causes, cures, and better treatments for lung disease. Building on a rich history of teaching, caring, research, and advocacy, we have made amazing progress in preventing illness and improving life one breath at a time. In tobacco control, California's smoking rates have been cut in half since 1988, and today 87 percent of California adults do not smoke. In air quality, California leads the nation in creative and cost-effective innovations to reduce air pollution and fight global warming. Asbestos, once used as a miracle insulator, is no longer used in the U.S., and our state has turned its attention to economic strategies that can create jobs as we fight global warming. And thanks to a 20-year history of leading the way in tobacco control, California's lung cancer rates are now under the national average. And yet, lung disease remains the nation's number three killer, and lung cancer continues to look for research funds. You can help make a difference by becoming part of the American Lung Association of California's inaugural Healthy Air Walk. Eleven Healthy Air Walks are taking place this year across California. Our San Diego Walk is on Sunday, November 16th at the beautiful Embarcadero Marina Park South. This is an opportunity to share the commitment to clean air and healthy lungs. It's easy to do. There's an online team building capability and Lung Association staff is available to coach you in reaching out to tell your story and help raise funds with prizes available for strong fundraising efforts. So mark your calendar and scout the location near the convention center if you haven't seen it before. The event is an easy three-mile walk appropriate for kids, adults, and seniors. There will be a kid zone and an enthusiast stroll for those who seek a lighter challenge. This year's inaugural Healthy Air Walk would not be possible without the generous support of our sponsors. And here's a schedule of walk day activities for November 16th, just a few weeks away, so here's how to get ready. Step one, register a team and be the team captain. Step two, set a goal. Step three, recruit coworkers, family members, and friends and neighbors to join your team. Fundraising for the American Lung Association of California is easy because, unfortunately, so many people are affected by lung disease. There are people in your life who have a child with asthma or a parent who died of lung cancer and chances are you didn't even know it. People often know the impact of lung disease and many will give gladly to your walk effort as a way for them to make sure that others don't suffer. Include everybody. You just never know who has this personal connection to the mission of the American Lung Association and will want to be part of the solution, whether through advocacy, research, or by educating children to manage their asthma, or by giving people with emphysema a support system to help improve their quality of life. Reaching a team fundraising goal takes a personalized email or letter to everyone you know, inviting them to play a role by making a donation to the American Lung Association. The Healthy Air Walk is about raising awareness and funds. Your outreach can be a great force for health in our community. So thank you from the American Lung Association on behalf of present and future generations who seek to breathe freely. You are our inspiration.